go through. Let's go through it quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, things happening in the real estate market in the UK, and I would say also London. Two of the stocks, uh, two of the stocks, I recommend your viewers to watch in regards how the property market in uh, the UK is doing. It's these two, Savills and Foxtons. In the past. They've been very good indica indicators of the overall health of the real estate market. I would definitely recommend we watch Savills because Savills predicted very nicely the 2008 housing crash, the 2007-2008 housing crash in the UK. Um, Foxton's is okay to watch as well, um, but you can see that the fact that Savills and Foxton's are both have been going down in a downward trend. They peaked last year, as you can see there. Um, that's not a good sign for the real estate market. I've heard that uh, just recently, in the last, I think since January, there's been a spike in house prices, in, I think, in the UK, mostly because uh, the government in the stamp duty, stamp stamp duty exactly. To me, that's usually the buying climax. Buying climax, exactly. Uh, you know, it's the final wave or whatever you want to call it. But I think come after that April time passes, you know, that stamp duty deadline comes, I think we're going to see a stabilization and possible. I think these, I think the fact that these stocks are going down, they're, uh, it's a red flag for the housing market. And well, I think uh, as you might be able to guess, I'm too mean to buy a two million pound house in mm. zone one as well. So. <laughs> You know, there's just nothing I'm interested in buying. In me, buying. me too. I, mean, I would say that I, I think the housing market here is way overvalued and way overdue for a correction. Independent market trader for leadingtrader.com. Thank you very much for uh, coming in today and sharing for your me. ideas. It.